In this video, we explain step by step the vaginal cuff closure technique in a patient with a macroscopic cervical tumor, 2 cm size limited to the cervix. A circumferential incision at the vaginal mucosa is performed to create a vaginal cuff for covering the tumor as it can be seen at the schema. Firstly, the theoretical vaginal margin was estimated approximately at 2 to 3 centimeters from the tumor. Depending on its size, a circumferential incision at the vaginal mucosa was performed, followed by a vaginal wall dissection. She was proposed for sentinel lymph node detection and frozen section. As the intraoperative exam was negative, at this point vaginal closure was scheduled. The vagina can be grasped on the anterior or posterior lip with a tenaculum or forceps. Gentle traction in all directions with the tenaculum enables the surgeon to visualize the area where the vaginal incision will be made. Some mucosal injection of saline solution may be used to delineate the surgical planes facilitating the dissection. The incision is made through the full thickness of the vaginal epithelium. Adequate counter traction against the respective lateral vaginal wall by the assistant is needed. The vagina may be dissected sharply with scissors from the underlying tissue or may be accomplished with gently blunt dissection. This is a demo. At the anterior vaginal wall, the bladder is pushed upward with scissors or blunt dissection. A globe can be interposed between the tumor and the vagina before the running suture. The dissection should be enough to allow a tension-free vaginal closure. The vaginal cuff is then closed by using a running suture. Protective maneuvers, like early vaginal cuff closure, have been proposed in order to avoid any possibility of tumor manipulation or exposure to the pelvis during colpotomy by a laparoscopy. After this point, radical hysterectomy can be completed laparoscopically and the surgical specimen can be removed without any tumor manipulation. After lack publication, the laparoscopic approach of surgical treatment for cervical cancer has been called into question, being the open approach, the most recent recommendation for radical hysterectomy to date. Nevertheless, there are some concerns about the laparoscopic approach that remain unresolved. The use of uterine manipulator may condition tumor spillage due to erosion and squeezing of the uterine cervix and even tumor perforation. Additionally, intraperitoneal colpotomy may lead to pelvic contamination by the tumor. This protective maneuvers have been demonstrated to diminish the rate of relapse in a recent study entitled Sucker. Notwithstanding, prospective studies are needed to elucidate this finding. This is the final view of the vaginal cuff before radical hysterectomy. After vaginal closure, the surgery went ahead for lymphadenectomy and radical hysterectomy type C1. At this point, after the dissection of the lateral parametrium, the uterine artery is transected at its origin. Before cutting the vagina, all of vascular spaces are developed and limits of the radical hysterectomy transected. This is a demo. The use of uterine manipulator is avoided, and the colpotomy is only guided by a swab and a ramp. Once the vagina is opened, a glove with swabs inside is immediately placed inside the vagina to prevent gas leakage.
This is the final view of the surgical specimen. After removing the running suture, the protective effect of the vaginal cuff can be appreciated. This other specimen corresponds to a radical surgery for a patient with a bigger tumor up to 3.5 centimeters. The same protective effect of the vaginal cuff is appreciated.